So in this video, I'm gonna to reveal to you what I believe is the best service to go from zero to 10K per month and beyond in the fastest, simplest, and most efficient way possible. Now, if you're in my Facebook group or on my email list, you might have seen me teasing this for the past couple of weeks or so about how we're shifting the focus away from LinkedIn prospecting, which is the core service in our agency, Growth Response. We're shifting away from that and more towards the service that I'm gonna to reveal to you today. We're building, basically going from scratch again, offering this as our core service. So here's what I'm, gonna talk, what I'm gonna talk about in this video. First off, what the service is and why I believe it's so freaking awesome. So I'm gonna tell you some reasons and some stats why this service is amazing to offer and amazing, amazingly valuable to clients, especially right now. Then I'm gonna talk about five different ways that you can offer this as a service, five different niches that you can target with this that desperately need this as a service, and then five, st uh, five simple steps to go from zero to 10K per month and beyond offering this as a service. And then lastly, some resources to help you learn how to learn this, how to get better at this as a skill, how to offer it as a service and get clients. I'll tell you some resources for that at the end. Now, let's first talk about what the service is. I bet you're dying to know what this is. Well, in my opinion, the best, simplest, fastest service to take you from zero to 10K per month and beyond is email marketing. Specifically writing emails that sell products, services, and phone calls or appointments. Uh, helping clients with their email marketing has a huge impact on their bottom line and their sales, right? Which I'll prove to you in a second. I'll show you some stats in a few slides from now about how important and impactful email marketing is on the sales and, and the bottom line of these companies, these potential clients that you're gonna work with. So let's get, let's talk about a few reasons why I believe email is so freaking awesome to offer as a service and why it's so valuable. First off, nearly every business in every niche needs it. Anyone who wants to increase their sales. And they will need it for the foreseeable future for as long as people use email, which I, don't, I see people all the time talking about how email is dead. I think it is not even close to being dead. We, everybody has an email online. They check in multiple times a day. And the first thing when you go to any product or service or company is you enter in your email address, right? So as for as long as people are using email as the primary form of communication and using it to sign up for products and services and companies, it's gonna be a hugely valuable service that you can offer to businesses to help them monetize their list. So number two is, you can increase sales for clients dramatically from day one of turning on campaigns, depending on where they're at in their journey, right? And how they're using email marketing. So let's say you go to a client who's only emailing maybe once a month or so, or once every other month, or they're, they just, their emails suck, like they're just sending out 50% discount coupons all the time. Uh, depending on where they're at, you can go in, if you know what you're doing, if you learn how to set up some simple automations and write email copy, you can go in and double, even triple their sales pretty quickly right after you turn on an email campaign, right? Depending on where they're at currently. So that's the second thing. Number three is it's simple to learn and you can start off charging $100, $200 per an email and eventually work your way up to multiple four, even five figure per month retainer deals offering email as a service. Now, once you hone your skills, the world is really your oyster, right? I see freelancers and consultants, highly paid premium consultants who charge f high five, even six figures to set up email campaigns and email automations for clients and businesses, right? So the world is really your oyster. When you hone this and you, and you get good at this as a skill, it also transfers to different areas of copywriting and sales letters and videos and, and sales scripts. And in every area of copywriting, you're gonna get better if you, if you hone this as a skill, email marketing, okay? It's also low risk, yet super high reward for your potential clients. So you can go out to prospects, potential clients, and offer to write an email for cheap, like a hundred bucks or so, or even do it for free and build up your portfolio and say, send this to your list. If it does well and it gets you a lot of sales, hire me on for an ongoing project. If not, then you know we can we can try again or you know we can part ways as friends. So you can go in with a super low risk offer, yet super high reward. You can go in there and write them a money making email in 30 minutes to an hour, give it to them for a low price or for free, let them send it to their list. If they get a ton of sales, which if they if they're not emailing at all, if they don't know what they're doing, they should get a lot of sales. And they, they can hire you on for big projects, right? For bigger ongoing projects from there. Okay, so it's a way for you to get in low on a low risk offer. And once you prove to them that you can actually write these emails and send it off effectively and, and help them generate sales, they'll hire you on for bigger projects. Number five, it's easy to build a portfolio for. So one of the biggest questions I always get from beginners and newbies is how, if I don't have any portfolio or social proof or testimonials, how do I go in and get clients? 
right? Now, this service, email marketing, email copywriting, it's very easy to build a portfolio for because you can do it before getting clients. So let's say you wanna work in the health industry or you wanna work with a supplement company. You can go in and, and pick a supplement company that you really admire, that you wanna work for or have as a client, and you can write a sample email campaign for that company and use that as written samples of your work, right? Your portfolio is built before you even got a client. You're just going to these companies, potential companies, writing up an email sequence and showing them your style. So you can use that as your portfolio when going out and selling to potential clients and prospects, okay? Uh, number six, it's easily understood and therefore simpler to sell, right? So prospects, everybody knows what email marketing is. Everyone knows what email is. Most people are not using it effectively. So if you can go in and say, hey, we can help you increase your sales with email, they're gonna know what email is. You don't have to explain it to them. And if they're not currently using and leveraging email to make 20, 30% of their sales, and you can go in and help them do that, it's very easily understood. You don't have to do much explaining because everybody knows what email is and it's gonna be simpler for you to sell. Lastly, if you don't want to do this yourself or if you wanna to start to outsource eventually, there are hundreds, perhaps even thousands of freelancers you can find on Upwork who know how to write emails, right? That maybe they might not focus on it, maybe they offer a suite of different services, but you can go out and find freelancers who know how to write emails and show them your style and then they can, they can either use that and copy that and model it for other clients that you have if you don't wanna write all the emails yourself, right? So it's very easy to find freelancers for for writing emails and, and doing email marketing, okay? So when you sign up with any company, what's the first thing that they get from you? It's gonna, uh, maybe second or third thing, right? But the first thing they get from you is your email address, right? After your first name and your last name is your email address. Uh, it's also your identity on the internet. Uh, actually, I take that back. There's a lot of companies who before you even give them your first name or your last name, you're just gonna opt in with your email address, right? So it is your identity on the internet. That's why it's so valuable to offer as a service because everyone is using email. Everybody is in their email inbox. And nearly everyone who has an email account and everyone does have an email account, they check that daily, okay? So it's not like they're just checking it, you know, once a week or once a month. Everyone is checking their email accounts pretty much on the daily and sometimes multiple times a day. So here's some stats here. Oberlo is, they're an e-commerce company. Uh, they have an e-commerce software tool uh, for Shopify stores. And this, I want, I want you to pay attention to this first uh, highlighted number three here. Average expected ROI is $42 for every $1 you spend on email marketing, right? 81% of small businesses re rely on email as their primary customer acquisition channel on 80% for retention. And this one's not that important. The average open rate for a welcome email is 82%. But look at these first two here, right? $42 for every $1 you spend on email marketing and more than 80% of businesses rely on email marketing as their primary customer acquisition channel and for retention, okay? What does this mean? Well, $42 for every $1 spent, that is a 4,200% ROI, right? Which is just mind blowing, okay? It's the highest ROI channel by far across any of the marketing channels out there. Here's another, this is from HubSpot here. If you take a look at number 10 here, more than 50% of US respondents check their personal email account more than 10 times a day. That's crazy and is by far their preferred way to receive updates from brands. And then also, get out of the way here, 99% uh, of consumers check their email every single day. Okay, so there you have it. These are some stats that show you people are in their email inbox. No matter what they say about emails dead or that people don't like to check their email, uh, these stats prove otherwise, right? Everyone is living in their inbox or most people are, are checking it multiple times a day, 10 times plus per day. Uh, so the best part is, you're helping businesses monetize assets that they already have, right? Their email list. So if you go out and you target the right clients in the right industries who already have email lists, right? That's the key factor is you wanna to go to companies that are already established, that are not like starting up from scratch, that already have an email list. If you go them, you're helping them monetize assets they already have. They don't have to spend a ton, of, ton more money on paid advertising, right? So you can go to them and say, hey, you're sitting on a gold mine right here of 10,000 names on your email list. You're not mailing them every day or every weekday. You are losing out on like 50% of your sales here, right? I can come in and help you increase that or turn these dead subscribers into actual sales and money in your pocket, right? So you're helping these businesses monetize assets they've already spent money building, money and time and resources building. So here are five ways that you can offer email as a service, right? Five different ways that you can offer this. Number one is daily emails, which is basically creating an email a day for these companies, right? Or every weekday. 
So if you sell this to a company who isn't mailing daily, let's, let's go back to the example, maybe they're mailing once or once every other month or once a month, you can dramatically come in and increase their sales, right? If they have an email list, of course. Uh, so that is the only caveat. You, you make sure that you're targeting companies that have an email list for daily emails and that aren't emailing frequently. And you can go in and dramatically increase their sales just by offering this as a service, right? And you can charge 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, sometimes even 5,000 plus, depending on how good you get and who you're targeting for this daily email service. Uh, automation sequences. Creating automated sequences, like things like abandoned cart, pre-purchase and nurturing sequences, new customer welcome, welcome, or win back and retention sequences, or VIP sequences to get people to come back and buy more higher ticket stuff, right? So you can go in and offer like an automation email package where you go in, you, you go and write these email sequences for them, these automations, and you offer it to them on a simple Google Doc. They go in and install it into their software, and there you go. You can get paid for that either on a one-time or retainer basis for these automation sequences. You can, you can package that up and, and offer them a, a number of different sequences here, okay? So we're actually, to existing clients at Growth Response, we went out to some of our SaaS clients who we knew had bigger lists, and we offered these two main services here. Daily emails, we started this at $3,500 per month. We locked on five of our clients, our existing clients onto this daily email service. And our core service that we're gonna roll out for, for Growth Response is gonna be based around automation sequences, okay? So you can both offer, the, these are the two that we're focused on. Uh, but let's talk about the other options that you have as well. Product launch emails. So this is basically creating an email sequence to launch a new product for, for your clients. This is great for info products or startups or companies on sites like Kickstarter, right? Who are launching new physical products or sometimes, I, I don't know if they have software on there. I'm not too familiar with Kickstarter. But you can go to these sites like Indiegogo or a Kickstarter and reach out to these companies who are looking to get funding and to launch their new products. You can go on, write their product launch sequence emails for them. Okay, and get paid a one-time or retainer deal for that. B2B emails, right? Uh, so this is creating emails for B2B companies with lists. And this is to generate high ticket leads and phone calls and appointments and get them new clients. Okay, so the, the first three, I mean, this kind of has some overlap with the other ones. Any of these can be B2B or B2C, it doesn't really matter. But B2B emails is specifically for working with these companies who serve other businesses and helping them generate high ticket leads, appointments, phone calls, and new clients. And then number five is cold sales emails. So this is what we offered at Growth Response, right? We got to multiple six figures offering cold outbound sales emails and LinkedIn messaging and outreach. That was our core service. Now we're moving away from this model and focusing on helping businesses monetize their existing list, uh, but it's very viable to get you to 10K per month plus, multiple six figures a year even, offering cold sales emails and cold outreach, right? Because that's how a lot of these B2B companies especially grow. So we got to multiple six figures offering just cold sales emails and cold outreach on LinkedIn and cold email. That was our core service, but we, we wanna work with brands who have existing lists and help them monetize that because we see a huge gaping hole in the market right now, to be honest. Now, five different niches that you can target that desperately need email marketing, that they really, they use email marketing, but they might not be using it effectively or not enough, or they could use some help on setting up some of these different automations and sequences and emailing more frequently. So first off is e-commerce, right? Anyone selling physical products online, whether that's like a Shopify store, like drop shippers, or it could be more well-known brands, uh, you can reach out to any kind of e-commerce store. And most of them are sending out crappy, like 50% off discount coupons every single day, uh, just flash sale emails. They, they don't really have anything effective in there, right? So if you can go in and write them better, more effective emails that aren't just like getting their prices as low as possible with discounts, you can really help them, right? And they're high volume emailers, right? So I would say e-commerce is probably the best niche to target. And it's one of the one of the industries that we'll be targeting with our core service. Number two is health and fitness companies, right? Whether they're selling health products or food supplement products, or if they're a fitness company, right? If, they're, if they sell some kind of training or fitness products, uh, workout gear, whatever it is, this also blends in with e-commerce, but health and fitness brands are great niches for email marketing. Number three is education and e-learning, right? These guys email a ton as well. And a lot of them do flash sales and discounts. Like if you look at companies like Udemy, if you look at companies like uh, like Teachable, right? These are all e-learning and education companies. And you can reach out directly to uh, people who publish information as well, who create courses and who create coaching programs and offer to write their emails for them and create the campaigns for them. Number four, Professional services, right? So agencies, it could be accountants, it could be what like small businesses who offer services, right? Any kind of professional services, 
this is this kind of goes hand in hand with the B2B sales emails. So professional services, yes, they need emails, especially in the B2B range or the cold sales uh, types of email services. And number five is software, right? This is the core market that we serve at Growth Response and our existing clients, we pitch some of them on our on a daily email service and you can go out and offer to write them email automations as well, right? So daily emails, email automations, even cold sales emails, like how we did at Growth Response, works well for these software companies, the software niche. Uh, so these are five different niches that you can target that do, they use a lot of email, so they already understand it and they need, they need your help to make it better, right? So you can go and offer that if they're not emailing frequently enough or if they're just emailing flash sales and discounts all the time, you can go in and improve that, help them increase their sales. Now, five steps to go from zero to 10K per month offering email as a service. Let's talk about these five steps. Number one is to pick a niche, right? I just showed you five niches, five examples that you can go after. There are dozens, probably even hundreds of others other than those. Uh, but if you wanna just start there, that's totally fine. There's sub niches within each of those niches that I just talked about. So pick a niche, that's step number one. Step number two, pick the email service that you're gonna offer them. And it needs to make sense for the niche. So you wouldn't go and offer B2B cold sales emails to an e-commerce company, right? Because they're B2C and they'd be better fit for something like a daily email service or email automations like abandoned cart and all that stuff. Okay, so make sure that this, the email service that you offer is a fit for the niche that you are offering it to. Okay, so don't offer B2B sales emails to a B2C company. Okay, I'll always make sure that the service aligns with the niche and what they need. Number three, get good at writing emails or find freelancers to help you, right? So you can just close the deals and outsource the work. That's gonna cut into your margins a bit, uh, but you can either get good at writing emails or you can you can choose from the hundreds of freelancers out there on, on platforms like Upwork to help you write these. And also share resources with you in a bit to help you learn if you, if you do wanna learn how to get good at writing emails. Number four, go out and get clients using free methods. So I have heaps of free client acquisition videos on this channel. You have no excuse, okay? And I always see people complaining when there's courses being sold or there's some kind of price tag on the product. Oh, I can find all this information for free. Okay, that's great. But how, how, much of, how many of you are actually using these free methods to get clients, right? So go out, watch the videos that I have on my channel and go out and get clients using free methods, right? You can use cold email, you can use LinkedIn, you can use Instagram, Facebook groups, any of these channels will work for getting clients. So that's step number four is go out and get clients using free methods. And step number five is to get results, get more clients and repeat, right? Super, super simple, but this is how it is for every service business, okay? Or every business in general, really. So don't freaking overcomplicate this. It's simple, it works, and it's how I grew growth response to, to 20K per month in three months and how I'll do it again from scratch offering this new email marketing service to a new market, right? So I'm gonna actually be documenting this for some students in my accelerator program and showing them starting from scratch again and getting it to 20K per month, hopefully in the next two to three months from now, okay? So resources to help you learn email and get better at email. How to learn email, there's a few different places. Number one is Ben Settle. Uh, I think his website is bensettle.com. I'm a subscriber of his awesome, fabulous $97 per month email players newsletter. I have it right down here. It's just a printed newsletter that he sends out every month with just, just crazy good tips that every time I, I use what this guy tells me, it always leads to way more sales in my business with email. Now he has a free email list as well, so you can, you can just sign up for that and study his methods in action. And then when you're ready, you can jump onto his $97 a month email players newsletter. And you'll, learn a t you'll probably learn the most from Ben Settle. Number two is Chris Orzakowski. This is, I found this guy recently in the last couple months or two to three months or so. And he's one of the leading email copywriters in specifically the e-commerce space. So if you're interested in going into the e-com space and offering an email to that niche, Chris Orzakowski is one of the best guys that you're gonna follow there. He is a killer when it comes to automations and automated email sequences and has a unique way of using humor and tough love in his emails, which I love. That's kind of my style as well, right? Mixing low key humor with some tough love, especially in my emails. Number three is Ian Stanley. So this is, he's just, he's a copywriter. Uh, he specializes in email, but he has over his track record, over hundred million products and services sold online, mostly using email, right? Using email marketing. His Persuasion Hitman book, I highly recommend you pick that up. It's an awesome read and you'll learn not just about email, but you'll also learn about just persuasion and copywriting and marketing in general. So 
Ian Stanley, number three. Uh, number four, how to learn is to get on email lists, right? Uh, embrace the spam. So create a separate email address and sign up or even better buy products from other email heavy companies to study what they do, right? You're gonna see certain sequences coming into your inbox when you buy a product versus when you're just on there on their free opt-in page or their, their free opt-in list. Now, if you don't know where to start and you wanna see my emails, buy my six figure drop servicing ebook and you'll see that, okay? And you'll see the act is $5 and 60 cents and you're gonna get an, a marketing lesson in email, marketing email copyright, right? So buy products from these companies who do a lot of emailing and learn from what they're doing. You can get a free education or a very cheap education. You don't have to go and buy a bunch of courses just doing this, right? And number five, my Tribe of Profits membership program is gonna be launching on Thursday. I'm gonna be doing a few master classes on email copywriting and getting clients for email copywriting and email marketing and a, and a ton more that are gonna be in that, in that membership program. So the link to join, it's actually gonna be an early bird list if you're watching this on Tuesday and we're, we're trying to shoot for a Thursday launch. And if you're watching this beyond that, it's gonna be a link that takes you straight to the sales page, okay? So link's gonna be in the descri description somewhere below here. So recap, we talked about what the service is, the fastest, simplest, most efficient way to go from zero to 10K per month and beyond. I believe that service is email marketing. Uh, and I think that service is here to stay. I talked about a few reasons why it's so freaking awesome. Five different ways that you can offer this. You can do daily emails, you can do automations, product launches, B2B emails, or cold sales emails and outreach. I talked about five niches that you can target that desperately need this is e-commerce, health or fitness companies, education, e-learning companies, professional services, and software or, or software as a service companies as well. And then five steps to go from zero to 10K per month. You need a niche, pick an email service that you're gonna offer them. You can get good at emails yourself or you can hire someone to do them. And then you get clients using free methods and then you get results for your clients and then you repeat that and just do it over and over again until you get to that 10K per month mark, right? It's very simple, but it works. Do not go for the next shiny, bright, bright shiny object because this is what works here, right? That's the only steps you need, pick a niche, pick what, it, what you're gonna offer them, get good at that as a skill or hire someone to actually deliver it, and then get clients using free methods and then re get results for your clients and then repeat the process over and over until you get to whatever your income goal is, right? At least 10K per month plus. And then how to learn this, go back to the previous slide uh, or just back in this video a few a minute or so, and then you'll see some of the shared resources that you can learn email marketing, email copywriting from, okay? now. Uh, if Again, if you want to join my Tribe of Profits membership program to learn more about email copywriting, email marketing, and a ton of other stuff, a ton of other master classes that I release on a monthly basis, go to the link in the description below to join the waiting list. Or if you're watching this after Thursday, it's just going to be a link that takes you straight to the sales page where I'm going to be sharing a lot more about email and other topics just in marketing in general, right? So I hope you guys like this video or got a, a ton of value out of it, or hopefully you got some aha moments and your, your gears are rolling and you're getting some ideas here. Uh, but I hope you guys got value out of this. Let me know, give me a like if you did, comment below with any questions and I'll see you in the next video.